guys, Totsy Gamer here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Sonic Ethers or any type of shader pack you'd like uh, for Minecraft 1.6.4. Now, this is a full, uh, like, legit version, like, no kidding or anything, because um, I have tried it out just then and it seems to have worked fine. Um, now, a few files are 1.6.2, but I don't really think that changes uh, the version or anything. Uh, so 1.6.2 files I think work fine with uh, 1.6.4 except from the forge doesn't so you have to get a new version of forge uh, if you haven't already uh, but I'll show you uh, I'll give you a little step-by-step -step, um, guide on how to install it so the first file you're going to need is minecraft forge and if you want to know how to get that uh, just go into the first link of in the description sorry um, and it'll bring you to this page. Now, there's a lot of different um, things to select on this, and the one you're going to want to press, uh, well, the one that I pressed, is the 891. Uh, and if you're wondering why, uh, it's because it was the top one there, and I know it won't be the top for long. Uh, it's just one of the latest 1.6.4 uh, ones. And you just want to go to press installer. Uh, none of others, or else it like, this is just isn't the way to do it. Uh, in my opinion, but press installer and then it will install as this file. It's a Java file and you don't need to drag it into anything, all you have to do is double click it. <coughs> now after it's loaded, it's going to say Minecraft Forge, it's going to say three different like selections. It's install client, install server and extract. Now you're going to want to make sure that install client is selected, you're going to press OK. And then it will well, I don't know if it's going to take a while. Actually, it's already finished. <laughs> uh, it won't take as long if you haven't got it already. Uh, but now that's installed, so we can just put that over there. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to launch uh, Minecraft. So, run Minecraft. Uh, just wait for this to run. Yes, I am recording with Bandicam, it's just to record my desktop. I'm hopefully going to get the uh, mirrorless action, I think it's called. It seems like a really good software to use. Um, so, let's hope that that will uh, do that. But Minecraft doesn't seem to be running right now. Uh, unless it's just because Bandicam is slowing my computer. Uh, if you didn't know already, I'm not really a fan of Bandicam. Um, in my old videos I used it, but that was with my Samsung. Now it doesn't seem to be loading, uh, so I'm just going to pause the video. Oh, right. Well, that got awkward quickly. <laughs> but let's just wait for uh, Minecraft to launch. It might take a while. It doesn't usually take a while because um, I have got a, a, like, quite a fast computer. Um, but yeah, it says 1.6.4. So, yeah, I'm not kidding. But uh, you're gonna want to make sure, like, if you haven't already installed Forge already, uh, it might say like your username or whatever uh, right there. So you're gonna want to make sure that Forge is selected. And after you've done that, you're gonna want to press Edit Profile. Say if you've already installed Forge. Um, you're going to go on edit f uh, profile and then you're going to go on to go on uh, use version and you're going to make sure it's the 891 selected and after you've done that press save profile and play now it should launch properly if I haven't messed something up already I wouldn't be surprised I'm not used to tutorials but I thought this would needed to be out because I was looking on uh, YouTube for some tutorials um, and I couldn't really find any, so yeah. Uh, now, Minecraft Forge has been successfully installed, as it said there. Um, three mods loaded. Uh, those three are just Forge itself. So you're gonna want to close Minecraft down. And the next file you're gonna want to install is in the like the second one in the description, and it's this file. Um, the, oh. oh god, damn it! Uh, there it is. Um, cancel. <laughs> Just press download and it should, well, save it to your download or wherever you save it to. And it should give you this file. Now, after you've installed Minecraft Forge, it should be pretty simple 
uh, to install. So all you'll need to do is percent of that percent. Uh, I know I just quickly did it there because I've got run. But um, usually with Windows 7, I think, uh, you, yeah, with Windows 7, all you have to do is type in run and enter, and it should uh, just pop up with uh, if I load this, and then all you have to do is percent of that percent in there. But with Windows 8, all you have to do is search roaming. Uh, it's not going to work for me because it doesn't, <coughs> but it should work if you search roaming. Um, yeah, that's right. It'll bring you to um, this, and then you're going to want to go on dot Minecraft and open your mods file, uh, which I don't think it would have been there before. Uh, after you install, uh, after you've done that, uh, you're going to want to drag the shaders mod core. I know it says 1.6.2, but it does work for 1.6.4 because I have tried it. Uh, but I've, you just drag the file in there, and um, I think we can quickly install sh some shader packs. Uh, but after you've done that, it should just uh, load up if you normally do it, but there won't be any shader packs in it. So to get shader packs, I'll leave the third link in the description, which will bring you to this link. Uh, all you have to do is download it, as always, and uh, it should save into a WinRAR file if you have WinRAR. If not, get it. Uh, or else why are you installing mods but inside shady packs if it all um, load for once uh, my god someone's spamming me but inside shady packs there will be a lot of different um, shaders well shader packs I uh, don't think I'll need that one so if you want you can just select them all except from the dot dot file um, but you're going to want it to go on roaming or dot minecraft or well I said or but uh, roaming dot uh, minecraft if you're windows 8 but uh, you can search run and then percent of that percent uh, and then dot minecraft and then instead of going into mods again you want to go, go to shader packs which actually I forgot to tell you uh, shader packs won't originally be there if you've never installed shaders before so uh, run Minecraft and it should work. Uh, well, it should create the file, uh, but nothing will be in it, I don't think. So all you're going to want to do is percent of that percent dot Minecraft. Uh, go into Shader Packs folder. I know I've already got one, but drag these in there, and then that's all the shader um, things. So go on. Uh, actually, after that, all you have to do is go on Desktop Games Minecraft run. Hopefully this won't take as long to run, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, like it is currently doing. I just want to prove that it is 1.6.4 running, um, but when I actually get into the game I'm going to start recording with fraps. Uh, so yeah, make your four just selected, but make sure it's 1.6.4, which it is. So press play, and it should launch up fine. Now I haven't tried uh, these mods on 1.6.4. Yeah, I've got 1.6.4 damage indicator. Anyway, but I think these would work on 1.6.4 as well, because 1.6.4 compared to 1.6.2, there's not really much of a, a difference. So let's just join a server. Um, join this one. And yeah, Shaders is already on, which I will try and do. We'll just high players, and we'll go on to survival. Oh, it was already here. Never mind. But as you can see, shaders is on, and let me just prove that this is Minecraft 1.6.4. If it will, well, this is being awkward. Don't know how I'm gonna. There we go. I just had to move it about. Uh, but as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.6.4 right there. Uh, now I'm just gonna quickly switch to Fraps and show you how it runs. Alright guys, I'm back, and I've nearly finished this parkour, I was just doing this whilst I was waiting uh, for fraps to load, but uh, as you can see, shaders is working fine, I'm getting about 50 FPS, uh, because the shader pack I'm using is amazing, 
Um, and I'll tell you about that when I get to the top. If I miss this jump, I'm going to cry. There we go. Um, we're at the top, so look out, and then I'll say the video from here. Anyway, um, <laughs> I forgot what I'm going to say now. Uh, yeah, but Shadies is working fine. I haven't really encountered any problems with the 1.6.2 uh, sort of thing. But I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, the Shady Packs. Uh, now, Shady Packs, if I would recommend any, it'd be Silver's NVIDIA Shaders. Now, that's not really on um, this massive list. Uh, but I will make a separate link just for this because the, how much I recommend it. Uh, now everyone's probably here for Sonic Ethers, and as you could, uh, and if you look at this, uh, it's very glitchy. Like, because I don't really think it was made for 1.6.4 just yet, uh, so I wouldn't recommend it uh, at this very moment. Uh, but if you really still do want Sonic Ethers. Uh, Ultra is probably not the way to go, and instead I'd either get light or most likely standard because, in my opinion, I don't really see a difference between um, standard because you can see the glowstone looks amazing. Uh, actually, I, I never really noticed the glowstone. That looks pretty cool, in fact. Uh, but it just looks exactly like Ultra, and I haven't really seen a difference just yet. Uh, and there's no glitchy, like, flashing blocks everywhere, and everything just seems to be acting fine. I've looked at the water down there, and that's acting fine. So, everything's okay with the standard, if you'd like to use that. Uh, but if I had to recommend any, it would be Silver Shaders, uh, because you get much higher FPS with it. Uh, now, I know it says NVIDIA Shaders, because there's two different versions you can get. There's the NVIDIA, and there's the AMD, I think. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, I'm more of an NVIDIA person. But seeing as my graphics card is a NVIDIA EBGA GTX 660 Ti, I have to use the NVIDIA version. But if you've got an AMD card, then I'll leave a link for the AMD version. And yes, it will probably say 1.6.2, uh, but it'll still work. Um, the water moves fine and everything. Um, but yeah, that's uh, what I recommend getting. I'll leave a link. Uh, because so far, I've pretty much always used Silders. I just think it's a really nice pack to use. The sun looks amazing. Uh, I, I, the only thing I, I like more in um, Standard than um, Silders is the Glowstone. Which kind of sucks. But The lighting's still good. Um, like how it works and everything, but uh, yeah, this is Silver Shaders. I'd recommend it any day um, out of all the other shader packs in this massive list. Um, but if you're more of a Sonic Ether sort of person, then I'd recommend using Standard instead of Ultra, even if you have got the ultimate gaming computer because it'll just glitch to hell in 1.6.4 until they've finally updated it to 1.6.4, um, which might take a while, but. Seeing as there's no errors on um, this one, um, I'd recommend getting this, and because, in my opinion, I think it's the better one, because you get higher FPS. There's ladders there, I didn't even notice. Um, but there's better FPS, and just all around better um, shader pack, in my opinion. But apart from that, I think that's all I wanted to say about um, the shaders. Except for it's running fine, I'm getting uh, quite good FPS. Um, when recording, I get about 50, 60, sometimes even 70. But it may like drop down to 40 or 30 sometimes. Um, but when not recording, it does shoot like straight to 120 because that's fraps. It'll always do that, like I've said in a lot of my FPS tests. And yes, I'm gonna get a new recording software, but it's not DX Tori because I'm not really a fan of DX Tori. I said I would use it, but I just think it's too complicated. And there's a new shade, uh, not shader pack. <laughs> there's a new recording software called um, uh, Mirrorless Action. That's what it's called. Um, and I'm gonna wait to get that and see how it goes. Now, that was an epic fail, but still, uh, I was gonna end the video anyway. <laughs> yeah. But as you can see, it looks amazing, and I'd recommend this on any sort of thing. It's got motion blur, and it just full on looks amazing. Um, and yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I hope you actually managed to install if you got any problems with it just comment and um, I'll try and help you through it uh, if it's just a comment saying I lag on this then that's because you got a terrible computer my friend upgrade but yeah as you can see it's um, working fine and yeah I'm I think I'm just gonna end it here I hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment subscribe and see you next time guys